Oh dear, look what happened overnight. <laughs> that is a lot of snow. Wow. <laughs> uh, I was hoping we could go this winter without a big dump like this, but there it is. Wow, I guess I need to change out my wreath because it's no longer happy autumn. So this is my backyard. It's beautiful. Very cold. Very cold. My neighbor shoveled a little bit so she can let her dog out, which I still have to do, because that is a lot of snow. So, this is Ohio. Well, here's my old freezer going back in the house now after looking at all those snow. Nothing happening in there. Everything's gone. I miss you, old buddy. Give this another go. Poor puppies don't know what to do. There's so much snow. I don't know. I don't think so, Lizzie. <laughs> I don't think so, baby girl. There's too much snow. Yeah, that'd be a good spot. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> okay. Why don't you come in? Well, she'll figure it out. <laughs> They're back. <laughs> okay. I guess I've got to put on my sweatsuit and go shovel. You got snowballs, buddy? Oh, we'll have to get those off, too. Good morning. Day 35. Well, I'm much going to appreciate my coffee this morning with what's going on outside. Steaming just the way I like it. Oh, I so appreciate this this morning. So there'll be no going out today. Too much snow for my taste. So maybe I'll purge something. Make my sauce. And then we'll see what's for breakfast. Breakfast, day 35. All right. Do you notice anything missing? Yes, I ate the Loma Linda with a little bit of chili last night for dinner. Yay, it's gone. But let's figure out what's for breakfast today. So I made this yesterday. It's cream cheese with the apple spice salsa and a couple other seasonings, chopped up celery and some um, dried onions. So I think I'm going to eat that because that won't last too long with everything mixed in there. And I'm going to have it on an onion bagel. I still have three of those left, so I want to eat those up. So that's what we're having for breakfast today. So I'll meet you over at the stove. Today is also Happy Tea Tuesday. So I already made my iced tea for this for today. I made that this morning 
and I'm making my chamomile tea for later this afternoon. We'll have a little chat. So happy Tea Tuesday. Here's breakfast, day 35. A bagel with my homemade cream cheese mixture. I sprinkled some chives on top. This would be really good if you had some green onion, but I don't have any. So chives it is. And then I still have this much left. And of course, coffee. Breakfast day 35. Okay, today is a great day to make vegetable stock because I still have that butternut squash I want to make a soup out of, but I need to make some stock. So here I have some asparagus bottoms, you know, the tough part. So I'm just going to put a few of those in there just for some flavor. And a lot of times when you make these stocks, they each have their own personality and their own taste, depending on what you put in there. And today is a pajama day. Perfect day for pajamas. Here's that mushroom um, broth I have from my canned mushrooms. That's going to go in there. And today is a perfect pajama day, too. I love pajama days. And this has various veggies in there. But I finally found my broth from the canned vegetables. I'm putting those in there. And hopefully it fits. If not, I'm going to have to microwave this. And we'll see. Well, it fits. But I think I'm going to have to put my, ooh, that's cold. I'm going to have to put my other veggies in first. Wow, that's cold. Okay, so cooking down the freezer, I have a whole bin of soup greens. So I'm going to put these in. These are some uh, onion skins, and then this is, I don't know what this is because it has ice on it, but that's okay. I think it looks like leeks or peppers or something. Okay, so that's good. And I've decided I am going to microwave this because it won't fit on top, so I'll be back. And you can save your bags and put more scraps in them, too. All right, so I melted this, and I'm just going to pour this on the frozen veggies. And then I'm just going to fill this up to the full line with water and let it cook for about 45 minutes. And I'll have a nice broth for a soup. And if you're running low on food, um, save your scraps, your veggie scraps, and make yourself a healthy soup once a week to stretch your, your food. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and cook this, and then either today or tomorrow I'm going to make some butternut squash soup. So here I have two sweet potatoes that I need to use up. And before I make the soup, I want to use the peels in there, so I'm going to scrub these really well, and then I'm going to roast these. So those will also go into the broth. Alright, so I've got my little three and a half quart kasori cooker here, and I'm going to cook all this broth for 40 minutes. I added my carrot peels and also my sweet potato peels since it's going to be a sweet potato soup not sweet potato it's going to be a squash soup all right so I'll be back later when everything's cooked I cut up my butternut squash and it was getting to be time starting to get a couple of spots on it but it was still perfectly good that was from this summer uh, that a friend gave me. So that was free. 
Uh, what I'm going to do with these seeds, I'm going to keep half of them for the garden since this was a homegrown squash. In the other half I'll roast. This is going to be food for my worms. They'll love that. And I saved the bottom half, just half of one. Uh, I still have some stuffing from Thanksgiving that I want to roast this and put some stuffing in there. And then in here I cut up uh, one little bell pepper, um, the butternut squash, a couple sweet potatoes, one big carrot. So that's all going to be roasted. I'm going to add a sweet onion to that yet. And that's what I'm going to use to make my soup. So anyway, um, lots of free food here. And then I'm having some tea since it's Tea Tuesday. And it is um, Lipton blackberry flavored tea. And over here, this is what's going in the composter. And if you don't have a kitchen composter, that's okay. Use your old newspapers. I'm sure we all get just regular newspaper. And um, wrap your scraps in that that you don't freeze. Now I wouldn't put this in a soup, but um, and then just stick the whole thing in your composter and you're all good to go. And you can compost your tea bags too. So anyway, um, I'm trying to reduce on um, waste. So that will feed my garden next uh, spring. This will feed my worms. This hopefully will feed me again if, if it comes up and this will feed me now. So I'm still cooking my soup. I've got 22 minutes left. And then after that, I'm going to roast all these things. All right, I'm going to roast this little piece of butternut squash. I have some uh, garlic butter spray that I have had for a long time. And I get this online. It's uh, Oh, Winona Pure, and it has different flavors. Amazon has uh, sells this. Once in a while I like to use the different flavored oils. So I'm going to just brush this on there. It'll give it a good flavor, hopefully. And then I'm just going to sprinkle on some of these herbs. It's some sage. A little bit of rosemary, a little bit of thyme, and some cumin, and then that complete seasoning uh, from Dollar Tree. Now that does have MSG in it. If if you're kind of if you have an aversion to that, then use some other seasoning. But I'm just going to sprinkle this all over my little squash here. Because to me, butternut squash doesn't have a whole lot of flavor. So it's mostly what you put on it that makes it taste good. Just my opinion. So there we go. And then, uh, since the stuffing is already cooked, once this is done, then I'll just add the stuffing when I'm ready to eat this. So I'm just going to spread this out a little bit. And it's going to go in the oven. I'm going to roast this at 400 until it's tender. So there you go. Another recipe. And then over here I have my squash that I'm still debating if I'm going to make it in the slow cooker or in the instant pot. I'm not sure. But I'll be back later with how I finish making it. I decided not to roast those. All right, my broth is done. And looks pretty good. So I decided I'm going to make my butternut squash in the slow cooker. But I need to drain this soup first. There we 
we go. My butternut squash is cooking in the toaster oven. So for now I'm done with this. And I still have to do my spaghetti sauce. But right now, one thing at a time. Yes, I'm having a cooking marathon here today. I really had to use up this butternut squash because it would have been totally gone in a couple days. So this is all going in the composter, along with the other things that I peeled today. So I'm just going to get all the bits of juice out of here and then I will make my butternut squash soup. So I'll be back shortly. And one of my onions sprouted, and since I don't have any green onions, I'm saving this for something. Maybe my chili leftovers. So I'll be back in a little bit. All right, here is the recipe that I'm using. Uh, slow cooker butternut squash soup. Um, of course, I always have to combine it with something else but this is the recipe you can take a screenshot of that but I also wrote down some optional things that you can add to this soup so optional add-ins that I could possibly put in there is apple sage cream cayenne nutmeg brown sugar turmeric cinnamon, ginger, curry, cumin, and carrot. So to this basic recipe, this one uses coconut milk, but you could use regular cream too. So I'm going to add my spices to this broth because I haven't seasoned this broth yet. So I'm going to go ahead and mix up my spices and then I'll tell you what I used. Okay, so this is the broth. I haven't seasoned that at all. I'm going to add one and a half teaspoons. This is a half a teaspoon of garlic salt. Now the regular the recipe calls for just sea salt, but I want to add garlic salt. And then if that's too salty, I can always add um, more water. And I'm going to add black pepper to this. And I think the recipe calls for half a teaspoon. No, quarter teaspoon. So I'm just going to eyeball it. The recipe calls for cayenne pepper. I don't like cayenne pepper, so I'll just put a little bit more of other pepper. But if you like cayenne, go ahead. So anyway, here is my spice mix, which is a little bit different than the printed recipe. In here I have half a teaspoon of ground ginger, half a teaspoon of ground cumin, half a teaspoon of ground coriander, half a teaspoon of paprika, and half a teaspoon of fresh thyme, so I used less because I only had dried thyme. And I also added um, half a teaspoon of um, curry. Now I don't like hot, so this is just regular curry. Um, half a teaspoon of um, sage and a little bit of nutmeg. So that's what is going into my soup mixture. So I want to mix that all up. And then that's going to go into my squash, chopped up squash. So there we go. And I may add a little bit, I have a little bit more of the um, broth. But let's see what this is going to be like first. So I'm just going to mix that in there. I think it'll be flavorful. I have a little bit of fresh garlic here. But I'm also going to add a little more garlic from the refrigerator.
And if this is too salty, I'm going to taste this in a minute. I'm going to add the rest of this broth. I think it'll be good for now. Um, I probably will end up using the rest of this broth, but I want it to cook for a little bit. So I'm going to go put this in my slow cooker, and I'll be right back. All right, I brought my slow cooker over here, and I have all my veggies in here. So that's been heating up. And to my broth here, I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon of chopped up garlic. I get this at Costco, and it lasts forever. Even with all the cooking I do, it lasts forever. So, all right, I'm just going to put this in with my squash. And I'm making a mess. And that's pretty full, so I'm not going to add any more for now. If it cooks down, I'll add more later. So there you go. That'll cook down. It'll be a good butternut squash, and I'll finish this up when it's done cooking. So there's the first thing I'm cooking today. Okay, time for a sip of tea. I didn't do a cheers today yet. This is really good. I put a packet of sweetener and some Torani syrup in there. And it's pretty darn tasty. So having tea and cooking, and it's a perfect day to do that. So now I'm going to cook the spaghetti sauce that I made a couple videos ago. And this hasn't been cooked, it's just canned things that I put together and spices. So in my teeny tiny slow cooker, I'm really liking this slow cooker, I'm going to put all this sauce and then I'm going to cook it for a few hours. And it's already pretty thick, but it's because it's cold. I just took this out of the refrigerator. So that is going to be for a few more meals. And then I have a little bit of broth left. That can be for another soup. And also, I'm going to add this apple spice salsa to my squash soup. But I'll do that after it cooks down a little bit because I think this would be really tasty in there. So, okay, um, let's see. I think that's it for the cooking for right now, but I'll be back later when I put together my dinner, and I'll probably be back in a little bit and have a little chat. So here is my roasted butternut squash. It's just a little one, and I'm thinking I have still leftover chili that I made a couple days ago, and I'm thinking putting the chili in here would be really tasty for dinner. So I think I might have that for dinner tonight. So we'll see. Well, it's mid-afternoon. Dinner isn't anywhere near done, oh, if, even if I have leftovers, which I probably will. But I just want a little snack, so I was looking in the refrigerator, and I still had one small tortilla. I have bigger ones, but I only had one small tortilla that I want to use up. I have one slice of this vegan roast beef. I want to use that up. I still have my cream cheese, so that won't last too long. And I still have two heads of romaine lettuce that I want to use before they go bad, too. Now, they're in good shape. And I bought these back, I think, on the 9th. So they, these really last a long time. So I'm thinking I want to make a little roll-up of some sort. 
So I'm just going to cut up some lettuce and I'm going to cut a little extra maybe to have with my dinner tonight. So I just, I, I like it um, a little bit shredded. So I'll just cut up enough for a salad. Hey buddy, I know you like lettuce, don't you? My dogs love lettuce. So we'll give them some, right? I'll give you some lettuce. There you go, one for you and one for you. Okay, just a little bit more. All right, now the rest of this is going to go back in the fridge. And the way I keep my lettuce is I wrap it in a paper towel, just like that. And I have these green bags that I reuse. I've had them a long time. And I just put it in the refrigerator like that, close it up. And it seems to work. They seem to last a long time. So I'll be back in a minute after I wash this lettuce. So I have here my little OXO salad spinner, and it's smaller. I have a couple salad spinners, and I really like this for small batches of lettuce, like single serve or for two, because it's not so big. So I use this a lot. So my salad's washed. I'm going to put together my little snack. All right, so here's my little tortilla. I spread the cream cheese on there. I still have a little bit left, enough for a bagel. So that'll be for a breakfast. And then um, if you're a meat eater, you can use just regular lunch meat, but I want to eat this up. Because this does go bad too after a while. So there's that, and then I'm going to put on my lettuce. And then I'm just going to roll this up. And it will be a nice little snack. I'm going to have some potato chips with it. And that will take me over till dinner. Now I don't have a snack every day, but today I'm a little hungry. So, and you can make these ahead of time. That would be good. And I like to smush mine down. So let's see what it looks like. All right, it looks like mostly lettuce, but the uh, vegan lunch meat is in there too. And I would use more than one. I'd probably use a couple, but I only have one and I want to eat it up. Alright, so there is my snack, my tiny little snack, and I'll be back at dinner time. My butternut squash is bubbling away. I want to cook these until they're very tender. So I'll probably finish this soup tomorrow since I have plenty to eat today. I seasoned up my the rest of my veggie grounds. I used that up to go in the spaghetti. I put some Italian seasoning in there, some garlic and herb, onion powder, garlic powder, and again a little bit of that uh, all seasonings from Dollar Tree. And I heated it up for two minutes just to cook it through. And I put it in my pasta sauce. And it's really tasty. I'm going to let that cook a little longer. And here is dinner, day 34. The half a butternut squash bottom and the rest of my chili. And the green onion that I rescued from the top of an onion. So there it is, and some chamomile tea. And that's it for day 34. Thanks for joining me today in my kitchen. Hopefully you got some good ideas of ways you can use up your food. I'll see you tomorrow. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. Thanks for watching.